Really? Hi everyone. Today's topic is raising boys versus girls. Stereotypically speaking, uh, it, we have always heard that it is more difficult to raise boys than girls. I have two of each and I can say that isn't necessarily true. However, I do tend to think that there are some things that are generally a boy thing and generally a girl thing and um, some of it is good, some of it's not so good. I don't believe that we should ever, as parents, be gender uh, particular about what they play with or what they do or don't do, as each child will be extremely different in that venue of their life. I have two boys that are very typically boyish kind of boys, and they, you know, were interested in rocks and gems and dirt and bulldozing and all that kind of thing, and yet I have one that is much more artistic in writing and in drawing and another one that's much more artistic in te technical stuff, um, doing videos and stuff. If two girls, one that's typically tomboyish and one that's not so much and uh, you can't really go by that kind of stuff and what they play with, that really is all irrelevant. We're talking about raising the, the males versus the females and what's the difference. And there really is only one major difference I find with each of them. With the boys, they just tend to be less capable of doing um, multifunctions at the same time. So in other words, you can't really give them a lot of instructions at one time and expect them to remember it all. Not that they are stupid by any means, they're not. They just tend to, as my sister said, they fit in a box, and if you give them what they need to do inside this box, they do it, and they do it well. But if you give them what happens, what has to be done next in the next box, now you've confused them. Um, not all of them are that way, but an awful lot of them are that way. And if they're not that way, and they actually can multitask well, they still usually need a reminder or whatever to keep, kind of keep them going. They might be great at multitasking, with brain things uh, that interest them, but not necessarily the everyday chores and things that you're going to be expecting them to do. The issue with girls tends to normally be attitude. You will have the whole monthly attitude when they're teenagers. You'll have the whole I'm a princess attitude when they're little or don't treat me like a princess today um, with girls, but they have that tendency to flip on a dime or one morning they can work up, wake up and be I'm a princess and the next morning wake up and be a tomboy in the backyard. So those are the two differences be, uh, uh, between raising a boy versus girls. Those are the big differences. I don't really think there's a whole lot else that's different. I do tend to think that boys um, tend to be much more long-term affectionate girls tend to be long-term friends so but for the every day-to-day -day stuff so my suggestion to you is, is if you have a boy and he's just not getting his chores done in the morning you need to get him off to school that you do some kind of a chart system something where you can actually put down make your bed brush your teeth get dressed you know all the things you want him to do get him to check off each one so that he knows he has to go back to the list as soon as he's done one it keeps him focused on one chore at a time doesn't overwhelm him and at the end of it if he does them all in a day you know what he gets an extra treat or something in his lunch that day at school or whatever uh, for the girls it's a little harder to come up with something as far as uh, dealing with attitudes so you know there's lots of different suggestions out there but in all honesty what worked for me was just to simply when they wake up ask them so what's today going to be like today are you going to be um, a little girl and want to play with teacups and be a princess or do you want to go out in the backyard and be a tomboy and that kind of set the mood and I kind of knew where they were going and they knew that I knew where they were going and it started helping them to identify the fact that they actually do this as well which makes it a little easier to deal with. So just some little tips nothing great but uh, if you have any questions as always or comments uh, please leave them down below. We'd love to hear from you. We hope you have an awesome day.